everything in moderation. Have you heard that before? I'm John Laspina, carnivore teacher. I'm going to talk about the concept of moderating things. Can you moderate carbs and sugar? Really? If you're honest with yourself, they have this thing for snack food called the bliss point. Factories, companies specifically formulate just the right amount of fat, salt, and sugar so that you are addicted and you come back for more and more and they make a lot of money and they don't care about your health. The bliss point, those Doritos reach the bliss point. Moderation. I don't know about you, but I can't moderate. I must abstain a hundred percent of the time, all of the time, or I am hurting myself by eating this stuff. I'm tempting myself. A moderation is when you go 99 or less, 98, 97, 96% of the time, you are having something that is ultra processed or sugar or carbs or seed oil. You're moderating. You think you're moderating. And that 99% becomes, you know, 99% not having bad foods becomes 90%, becomes 80% becomes 50% and before you know it, you're not moderating. Moderation was when we had an apple off the apple tree or a plum or a peach on the tree on our property that was in season, that one little window time of the year. And the rest of the year, the tree bore no fruit and you ate the fruit when it was in season in the geographic location where you lived. That's moderation. And we couldn't overindulge because the trees didn't produce the fruit the rest of the year. Nowadays, you go to the grocery store, there's grapes and plums and peaches and pears and apples and oranges, and you can have as much as you want any time of the year, and they're bigger and they're sweeter than their ancestors because that's what we humans do. We make things bigger and sweeter, and then we change the genes to make them bigger and brighter and all that stuff. And we're eating too much and it's hard to moderate when it's very accessible. We have drive throughs and stores right around the corner and we can just get on our cell phone and call and someone can deliver stuff to us. Ultra processed food, fast food, fruits, it's too much. Moderation is impossible. Anybody who says they can moderate is a liar in my opinion. And you're going to say to me, somebody's going to say something in the comments. I know it. They're going to say, you're wrong on that one. Lespina, you're wrong. I can do it. I can do it. I disagree. You, th you say you can do it. I think you're lying to yourself. If you were truly honest with yourself, you will realize you're not really moderating. Carb creep. It creeps back into your life and it's more than a mo moderation means you have it once a year, one time and one day a year, or maybe once a year, and then maybe six months later you have one and, and that's a long period of time to wait. And most people are thinking about it and they remember how good it tasted and they like, I can't wait for six more months and they go back at it. Most people cannot moderate. Think about an alcoholic a person who is a true alcoholic. You can't say to them, why don't you just moderate? Just have a drink once a week, one drink and no more once a week. They can't do it. They cannot moderate. Say it to a cocaine addict. Say it to a heroin addict. Just shoot up on Saturday, the first Saturday of every month, but no more. Now maybe they can do that, but they're going to be constantly tortured in their brain because they want more, they want more, they want more, and they can use their their willpower to say, I'm going to wait till the month is over until my next month comes to shoot up. They're being tortured mentally because that's an addiction. Addictions, addicts can't moderate, period. Addicts cannot moderate. And then you might say to me, well, I can moderate because I'm not an addict. Well, be honest with yourself. If there's something that is not healthy for you and you're doing it, why are you doing it? What are you getting out of it? You're getting dopamine hits. You're getting this amazing feel good chemical in your brain and you're saying you're moderating. And maybe you are because your willpower is super strong, but you're being tortured because your brain can't wait to get back at that chemical, that food, whatever. There's no such thing as moderating something that gives you a reward in the brain that's super powerful and addictive. Ladies and gentlemen, abstention is powerful. 100% abstention from carb, sugar, and seed oil is effortless. 
once you get to that place, the answer is always no. The answer is never, nunca, nienda. It doesn't exist. Like I don't smoke cigarettes or take a part in vape or any tobacco products ever. When I go in the store, I see that section in the store and I see people going to that section and buying and partaking. To me, that has always been a no and a never. P easy. I don't even think about it. I walk by it. I do the same thing with ultra processed foods, with anything with starch, sugar, and seed oil. If you can think about it that way, it's so easy. It's effortless. 100% abstention is like breathing air and it's as healthy as breathing air. I eat beef, lamb, pork, poultry, fish, and eggs. I don't put any seasonings on there. I don't put any marinades on there. I just put salt. I cook in animal fats only, period. And there's so much within that category that you can do. And it's, the variety is amazing. And everything else, ultra processed food, everything with starch, sugar, and seed oil. I don't do alcohol either or nicotine. It's all no and it's never till the day I die. No and never. And I'm not haunted. I don't have the thoughts because I'm never going to have the answer. Just no, I don't touch. I don't, I just don't do it. It's like I don't eat arsenic. I don't eat cyanide. I just won't, period. Click the thumbs up. Click subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'm asking you if you want to. And share this with friends and family. I want you to have a good day. Become the optimized version of yourself. Be a carnivore. Take care.